towards the end of my residency program, I was starting to feel a little bit too much like a generalist and thinking that I'm having my trouble getting a handle on a lot of these, these specific areas of emergency medicine. And I started to really feel like I wanted a focus. Um, and I'm not 100% sure why that happened, but I definitely got that feeling. And that's when I started thinking of fellowship programs. When I started to really consider toxicology, I realized this was going to focus me. And I can tell you, looking back on it, that nothing has made me a better emergency physician than doing my fellowship in medical toxicology. Because it, medicines have become more and more important in our way of treating patients, no matter what specialty you're in, in the last 20 years than almost anything else. That's almost the biggest technological advance all by itself. And toxicology put me right in the middle of that and gave me an expertise that a lot of people don't have. We have a, a very busy uh, consultation service now where we see patients at six different hospitals in San Diego. We have a training program that, that at this time has five fellows that are training in it in, during the two-year fellowship training program. We have the California Poison Control System where we get over 300,000 calls to the whole state of California every year that we manage a quarter of those from our site here in San Diego. So our training program is a two-year additional years of training after your residency that anyone can join into and consists of clinical learning, which I think is the most important, and that's how what I founded this fellowship program on, which is bedside learning, seeing the patient, seeing what they're doing, looking at the laboratory tests, and, and actually doing hands-on learning at that point. Secondly is research. Each of the fellows are required to do some medical toxicology research during their fellowship program. And then third, and maybe most importantly, is studying. Um, there's whole textbooks on medical toxicology that the fellows need to know in order to take and pass the board examination after their training program. But I have fellows that have graduated and gone on to be the head of public health for Los Angeles County because of their background. We have fellows that do just research uh, after they get out of residency program. We've had fellows that go into peer administration and just manage poison control centers after they finish the fellowship program. And we have residents that just go back to be emergency physicians or residency directors in emergency medicine programs. And the nice thing about the fellowship is it still allows you to do any one of those things that you want. And you're not locked into one subspecialty or one aspect of emergency medicine. So our program is a hybrid where we get to admit our own patients. We get, admit all the snake bites. We admit all the carbon monoxide poisonings, all the mushroom poisonings, anything that I think is fun that falls in between some of the other specialties niche and what they might do. The, um, and we have one of the busier toxicology consulting admitting services in the United States. In fact, the only one in all of Southern California that does what it does. So that makes it unique in that regard. We go to Children's Hospital, so we see kids. We go to the VA, different patient population. We go to the Navy Hospital, different patient population. And then we have UCSD here at Thornton and at Mercy, which gives us a really large base to draw from people who are using drugs and um, psychotropic medications and things that can end up having a toxicology aspect to it. And then we have a big off-service rotation or on-service rotation of students and residents both from UCSD and from the Navy Hospital and all over the United States who come to San Diego. And all of that is what you need for a critical mass to teach and to learn and to have very successful conferences like we do every, um, every week right here in this room and teach all these people about different types of drug overdoses and drug abuse and envenomations. And all of that makes for both fun and interest and research and clinically exciting cases that draw people for the fellowship program.